There are a bunch of Switch games that I haven't talked about yet on my channel. And it's been requested several times that I give my first impressions on Metroid Prime Remastered. I know a lot of you have already beaten the game, already moved on, so to speak. But I did get a ton of comments asking about this. Now, it got shockingly good reviews already. 94 on Metacritic last time I checked, which means it's very well received. Now, it is a remaster from the GameCube game that was called Metroid Prime. And it is a very atmospherical, an isolated, almost horror-like adventure game where you are sent down to this planet and you are playing as Samus Aran. And it is a game that is probably not for everyone and hear me out. I have never really been a big Metroid fan. Metroid Fusion was just dropped to the GBA, the, you know, the app. Link in the corner to my GBA video. And I started playing that yesterday and I really like Metroid Fusion. Now with Metroid Prime, it was the series' first jump to 3D. I never personally owned it back in the day on the GameCube. Now with this version you get the option to have gyro controlled aim and you have this 3D map and you get several upgrades gradually in the game. Now Metroid Prime it does not hold anyone's hand. You're let down into this world, you can jump around and you can scan a lot of things. Basically the game should be called scan everything, always. You have to figure out everything on your own. It is old school and it is sort of played like a maze. The graphics are really good. Super sharp, crisp, I'm enjoying the graphics. But I have to say everyone that this is not a game that is necessarily for me. I like a bit more of a hand-holding experience if you know what I mean. But I can definitely see the appeal. Now, Neighbor7 says that this is a 10 out of 10 Metroid experience. So if you have ever been a fan of the genre, the Metroid genre, this one does the genre justice, graphics are gorgeous, and it is very atmospherical. You are definitely feeling like you are there, you are scared, and you have to figure out things on your own. There's no hand-holding in Metroid. I recommend it to all the fans of Metroid to begin with. I'm not one of them, unfortunately. This video is kindly sponsored by Arsopa, especially this portable monitor. The Arsopa G1 game. As you guys may remember, I am a vivid user of portable monitors because I like to bring my games over to my neighboring game and my mom's placing game and to the cabin. And we are going to some Easter cabins this Easter. So it is like bringing a TV with you. You can hook up any gaming system that hooks up to a HDMI and I will be playing a lot of Switch on this when I'm out and about. It has a 15.6 inches screen, it has 144 hertz, and the thing with this portable monitor is that no Switch dock is needed. As you can see, I have hooked my Switch up and my Pro Controller, also with power connected. I am able to play on my Switch without my dock. The screen quality is 1080p and it has a wide compatibility. Built-in speakers, also an audio jack, mini HDMI, 2C type inputs. I want you guys to check out my link down below. I have been using it and it is easy to just set up on a table like this. So the Arsopa G1 game, it is my portable monitor right now. Thank you so much Arsopa for sponsoring this video. Check out my link down below. Now, Tales of Symphonia Remastered. This is a game that I played on the PS3. I did not complete it, full disclosure on that. I never owned it on GameCube, but this is also, funnily enough, a GameCube remaster, but it has already been remastered once. Now port it over to the Switch. It is an old classic GameCube game and I am a Tales fan, very much so. But I still consider the Exilia games to be the best uh, Tales of games that I have played. This one definitely has that old Tales of charm and you can definitely feel that this is an older game. So keep this in mind when you are going into this game that it is an older game, it's gonna feel older. Now the performance now on the Switch, it has gotten a lot. Lot of critique. I think it plays okay, even though I feel like my character is rubbing on edges a lot, as you can see here. Just that, uh, otherwise it's fine. I don't know if it has been patched by now, but it's okay. It's passable, definitely. Now it is an RPG with classic action battles combat, and sometimes it has puzzle-based dungeons. It has a overworld map, which I can always appreciate, and you have the regular RPG things to work 
worry about like equipment, skills, and you have story skits like the Tales of series is really known for. But I think they have done something really bad with the skits this time around. They are not voiced and they cannot be paused. You have to read Sora quickly. I felt like, why does it go this quickly? And it has a black background instead of the blurred out actual, you know, how it was in the original, that is new. Also, when you're entering battles, you no longer get that cracked screen effect, which I enjoyed. So that is also something that I've noticed with this version of Tales of Symphonia. People are saying that the GameCube version is still probably the best version. But you know, it's really available right now the Switch if this is like a Tales game that passed you by somehow. I still recommend it for all the Tales fans. <laughs> Definitely. It is a very true to the genre old RPG RPG. <laughs> It feels a bit dated, I went over that. You just have to get into that dated mindset. It's not my favorite Tales of game. It has its moments, it has its charms. You know, I will be playing it. I don't know if I will be playing it all the way through, but I will definitely play it more. I just want to have the Exilias ported. Give them a fair remaster by now. I hope so. I mean, let's make this game do well so that they have the budget to do Exilia remasters. And I would be happy. Now I wish that the skits had voice acting. That would make the story more immersive for me. And I wish that they weren't going so fast. Now what do you think? Do you enjoy this remaster? It is at least on the Switch right now. And I guess we will have to do without. Now Fire Emblem Engage. You know what, I feel like this one dropped in the middle of a lot of other big releases. I have been busy with Forspoken, I have been busy with Legward Sogacy. And to be fair with you guys, I am not done with this game. But I do have a first impression overall. It is a Fire Emblem game in the sense that you have these tactical battles on this battlefield where you like move your pieces like chess. I would recommend to crank up that difficulty a tiny bit because currently I'm playing on super easy like the easiest and it is actually too easy for me even. You have this hub world, it's okay. I'm not loving the hub world but it is okay. There are achievements in the game sort of thing like sort of like missions. I enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> Always enjoy that sort of thing. The characters, I like their designs. And okay, so the graphics, let's talk about the graphics. The cutscenes and the animations and the uh, actual character designs so crisp so good they look so good on the screen there's no blurriness to them these cutscenes i mean and it's like i can do to watch some of them definitely i'm sort of digging the designs of the characters story so far is good i enjoyed the story you are a dragon person that wakes up after so many years i think it was a thousand years and you have amnesia but you know i can sort of see where the story is going uh, but i'm looking forward to see if I'm correct, if you know what I mean. It is a good game and I will have to play this more sooner or later, but you know what? This dropped, like I said, just in my Hogwarts Legacy and Forspoken hype. So this is sort of put a tiny bit to the side, unfortunately. But I do like my Fire Emblem. It's a series that I do like. My favorite being Awakenings on the 3DS. I loved that game. It is still my favorite Fire Emblem game. If you ever find that, and that's another thing, the 3DS eShop is closing or has closed, I don't know. But find that game, that is such a game. But I'm not feeling Awakenings vibes yet from Engage. It's kind of hard to top that game. Let me know what you think down below also. Would love to hear what you think. Now with a Kirby, the new Kirby game, and there is always a new Kirby game. That should be a meme by now. There's always a new Kirby game because there is always a new Kirby game. And I suppose they must be doing well since they are continuously <laughs> pushing them out. I mean, this time I am playing the newest one, Return to Dreamland. And this one is actual eye candy. Yesterday I played for several hours and it has so many fun mechanics and the level designs are so good. 
You often get an upgrade, a copy ability, that is very satisfying for the coming of the level. Kirby can glide, roll, use a super big sword. Very satisfying. And Nintendo has always been really good with satisfying gameplay in their 2D platformers and 3D platformers. I really loved the last Kirby game that was called Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It came out last year. It feels like it came out like a few months ago but this year has been going so fast. It is definitely that Kirby charm and it has a lot of mini games and I am loving seeing some of the older mini games that I remember from my childhood. Like the mini game where you are punching down into the earth. It gives me nostalgia. This is a title that I highly recommend to all the kids and everyone that is a fan of Kirby. Or maybe just picky with 2D platformers like I am. I enjoy my Kirby. It is very chill, very easy. You can turn your brain off while you're playing Kirby and just soak in that wonderful, colorful world that Kirby is in, Dreamland. Very cute. If you wanna have a skull and co grip, like this grip that I'm having on my Switch, I still recommend it. And I still have a code down below. I want to hear what you think about these recent releases on the Switch and um, I'm gonna be honest and say that I am playing a lot of PlayStation 5 these days. Maybe you have seen that on my channel, but I like to dip into the Switch sometimes. You know, I have a big backlog right now. I'm working my way through them and uh, Fire Emblem Engage is gonna be played more. Also Tales of Symphonia Remastered, definitely. Now hit the like on this video before you leave. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video and I will see you later.